Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky Papayoanu here with a new art journal layout. Today I will be featuring products by Picket Fence. They have lovely and unique designs and you will see some of them featured today. They celebrate the first anniversary. I have an exclusive discount code, 20% off, down below, check out the description. And also a $100 giveaway on my blog, make sure to check that out as well. So you can see some of the designs as I'm browsing them through and um, there are bigger and smaller and you can see that some of them are perfect for cards. I absolutely love those bears. There are stencils and uh, dies in their collection. But uh, today I try to find a couple of um, stamps that are perfect for art journaling and I absolutely love this big peony it could make a great focal point for a card but for an art journal i think it is perfect and i'm going to combine it with this girl so i'm going to use my stamping platform there and i'm going to do some stamping i'm using a permanent ink just to make sure that it's not going to smudge or smear later on since the medium that i will be working with is ardiza watercolor markers i am stamping everything on uh, watercolor paper this is heavy watercolor paper and you will find it linked down below and of course i stamp my images a couple of times to get a good impression since uh, my paper has some texture I stamped the flower one more time, just a part of it, since I am planning to cut out some of those petals and pop them up on my final project. For doing all the coloring, today I will be using my Arteza Real Brass Pens. The colors I am using for this flower are Light Magenta and Bubblegum Pink and I will be blending them directly on my paper. So I am starting with a darker a color at the base of the petal. I am going to move on to the lighter and you can see that they blend nicely together and I will finish it off by dragging the color with a water brush towards the tip of the petal. I will be doing the same technique on all the petals in my flower, always making sure that I add the darkest of the shades at the base of my petal. Remember that you need to work on good quality watercolor paper, otherwise the markers are not going to move or blend as good as you want them to. Also notice that sometimes I do smudges or go outside of the flower. This doesn't really matter because I am planning to fuzzy cut around the flower and stick it on top of my project. So going outside of the lines is completely acceptable. Now I'm going to use my scissors and cut all around it. It is really easy to cut out this flower. It has nice big and bold lines around it and I'm not leaving any white border. I'll just follow the black lines. When it comes to art journaling, I don't like to have that uh, white uh, border since it uh, gives that uh, sticker look. But uh, when it is um, all about card making, I really don't mind. I'm also using a black marker and go all around the edge just to get rid of that white border. This is going to cover up any mistakes that I did while I was cutting out the flower and it's going to give a perfect look. I am coloring my girl again using my Arteza Real Brass Pens. And when I finish coloring her I will be using my scissors again and fuzzy cut her. Cutting out the butterfly is obviously really difficult to do, so I'm going to separate it and stick everything back together on my project. Now I'm going to combine those two images and uh, I'm using my craft knife and I'm using my craft knife to create a slit following one of the petals so that I can tuck her inside. And you can see that I use my craft knife over my glass mat. I never had any issues with scratches. I'm trying to see if my girl fits inside and I adjust the slit accordingly. And now I can uh, work on my background. I love working with Distress Oxide Sprays for the backgrounds of my art journals. The colors that I'm using today are Mermaid Lagoon and uh, Cracked Pistachio. And I'm working on heavy watercolor paper from my 6x6 disc bound journal. I didn't cover the whole paper with the sprays, but now I'm going back with water and spraying it out of it. This is going to activate the Distress Oxide ink and give that chalky finish. And at the same time I can do some blending by lifting uh, the color and moving it around. 
now that my background is ready and I have all the cutout pieces, I can start doing my collage. So I'm trying to decide where everything is going to go. I decided that I don't want to have that green stem and I'm going to stick everything down with my Nouveau Deluxe white glue. As I'm sticking those pieces down, I'm making sure that I don't cover up the little uh, punched out edges so that I can easily put it back on my page. Now remember that I have stamped and cut out a part of the flower one more time. So I have uh, colored some of the petals which I am now fuzzy cutting and I'm going to tuck them in underneath the main flower just to cover up some areas and make uh, that flower look uh, fluffier. Now uh, for example I have this empty space at the bottom and uh, I didn't like that. And I'm going to fill in a gap on the right side of my flower as well. Again, before I stick them down, I'll always get rid of the white edge with my black marker. And I'm good to go. And I didn't forget to put back the butterfly to complete my image. So again, I just used a dot of uh, Nouveau Deluxe glue to stick it down. For my quote, I went with the one that says Live Colorful. This comes from another Picket Fence stamp set and uh, it is called uh, Wild Heart Gypsy Soul. As you can see on the right on your screen, it is a great one again for our journaling with all those flowers and the leaves coming out from them. I have uh, stamped and uh, embossed the sentiment on uh, a thin strip of black cardstock. And now it's time for some finishing touches. I'm using my white Nouveau Drops to add some dots here and there just for um, some extra white touches. And I cannot finish a project without adding some white splashes. So I have covered up my curl and this is gesso thinned down with water. And with my brush I'm just adding some splashes here and there. I covered up the face because I didn't want to have any splashes over there. But I don't mind if I have, have some over the flower. And that was the project for today. I hope you had fun and that you got inspired. Make sure to check out Picket Fence Studio website and use the 20% discount code that is storewide and also visit my blog and enter the giveaway. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.